I think you. Oh, I thought he was gonna attack the printer. I grabbed my camera. I thought he was gonna attack the printer. He jumped up right in front of it. Hey guys, what's up? It is like seven o'clock at night, and I haven't vlogged today. Um, I don't really know what to talk about. I didn't do that much today. I did some housework, and it's kind of dark in here. It's kind of overcast all day, or most of the day. I'm having problems with the internet. I, just, I unplugged it, and now I'm trying to plug it back in. And I was working fine earlier, but I have vlogs that need to be uploaded and one that I have to edit. So I guess that's what I'm going to do. And I managed to wash some dishes today, so that's good. The neighbors, it feels, it seems like the neighbors had been using the water, like, all day yesterday and all this morning. I was able to get one rack of dishes in. And I probably should wash more stuff. I still have a pot and some, like, utensils and stuff that need to be washed. And some silverware. But my shoulder's really bothering me. So I'm just going to lay down and relax for a bit. And uh, if I can get this internet to work, I'm going to watch something on the TV or on my computer. And if I can't, then I will edit and listen to my audiobook. I kind of want to take a nap, but it's like it's too early. It's too early to, it's like too late to take a nap and too early to go to bed. I've run into this problem before, and I don't want to be up until like 3 in the morning again, so I don't think I'm going to be taking a nap unless I like just completely zone out and fall asleep laying on the couch waiting for Brandon to get home. He'll be home in about an hour, so... I'm going to do all that stuff and I will see you guys later. Hopefully I feel better next time I talk to you. Bye for now. Hello Blade. Hello Blade. Did daddy almost sit on you? You almost sat on him. Yeah. Why did you almost sit on him? Because I moved him and he moved right back into my spot. <laughs> it it scared me. It really did. I was like, Brandon, you almost sat on his head. I was about in tears. I was freaking out. I had to reach and grab him real fast because, you know, Blade doesn't know. He just wanted to sit in his, his spot. Hey, in his defense, he's here more than you are. So in his opinion, that is his spot. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, and before that, what did you do that pissed me off? I broke your thing. My candle holder. You guys know the owl one I have, the mosaic one with the owl on it? Yeah. He knocked it out of the cabinet under the sink. They're little pieces of glass. And I got, ended up, I, I predicted it. I said, I'm going to be the one that gets glass on my foot. Not you, because you broke it. I'm going to be the one with the glass on my foot. And I swear, I had the tiniest, tiniest, itsy bitsiest piece of glass ever in my foot. And it hurt so bad. It was like smaller than the head of a pin. Teeny, teeny, tiny, itty bitty little piece of glass. I would not believe how much it hurt. 
I didn't realize I stepped on it until it was like, until I put my foot down and I felt it go in like into my foot. Yeah. Hi, Blade. You're doing a good boy today. Yeah. You're being a good boy. He was driving me crazy though. He was like pawing at me for no reason. I think he just wanted to be pet. He's a good boy. He loves the attention. <laughs> Will you give you kisses? If you put your hand out, will you give you kisses? No? No. He gives me kisses all the time. Maybe he thinks you're dirty. Wanna give me kisses? No? No kisses? Now how did work go? Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Was it busy? No, not really. It was slow at the end. Yeah. So you help get everything ready for the morning shift? Are you even working in that department tomorrow? Nope. I'm in seafood. But so I you went out of your way to be nice and get everything set up so they'd have less work to do in the morning. And you're not even going to be working in that department. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Um, this is getting too long. <laughs> screw you, I'm going to bed. What do you mean, screw you? <laughs> I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed. I gotta be up at, like, time for work. Alright. It's weird. It's like, earlier, it was like, 8.30, and I felt like I was gonna fall asleep sitting up. And now, he's ready to go to bed. And I'm not. Hello. You paw me? What? What do you want? It's like I'm more awake now than I was before. No? I turned the camera on you because I thought you were going to paw at me and you, then you just like, nah, just playing. He's a sweet cat. He's purring. I don't um, know what kind of purr it is. I think it's a get the fuck out of my seat purr. He looks annoyed with me. No, that's that's him content. He's he's closed. See how he's closing his eyes? Cause he's happy. You petting him? Yeah. Yeah, well that that's what it is. Then it's an I'm happy. See? I can hear him. His purrs louder. I do think it is in part a get out of my seat purr. You want daddy to move? Alright, so. I gotta go to bed anyway. Brandon has to go to bed. I'm gonna watch some shows on my computer. I've been... Last couple days, or today and yesterday, I've been watching Breaking Amish. I find it strangely fascinating. You know, you like watching people that are so different. 
Sooner or later, you're going to end up watching Duck Dynasty. Uh-uh. No. I draw the line at Duck, Duck Dynasty. And those moonshine people. Whatever that show is called. I just don't think... I just don't think that'd be that interesting. Maybe I'm prejudiced against rednecks. There's swamp people. There's that one. I'm going to bed now. Am I prejudiced against rednecks? Very. Is me using the word redneck expensive? They call themselves rednecks. I know. I'm related to rednecks. And they refer to themselves as rednecks. I I think hick is the derogatory term. Hick? Yeah. So hick, hick is mean? Redneck isn't? Is that what you're trying to tell me? I guess. So, so redneck's not like a a slur against southern people? Well, I mean, I think the politically correct term is country music star. I'm not talking about people who sing country music. I'm talking about redneck. Well, it could be like a, like a black people calling themselves the n-word thing. So, because I'm not a redneck, I'm not allowed to call people rednecks? I can think of worse ones. Hillbilly sounds worse than redneck. Yeah, hillbilly does sound worse worse than redneck. Yeah, anyway. My opinion, if we happen to have any black viewers in the audience, don't call each other nigga. It's not, it's not any better than the real version of the n-word. Why would you want to derive a nickname for each other that came out of something so ugly and terrible as slavery? It's not cool. It's not funny. You know, call each other bro or my boy or buddy or... Or even dog is derivative if you think about it. Yeah, like it... Or go all British and call each other mate. Lads. Lad. <laughs> Lad mate. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to bed. Alright. Give me a kiss. I love you. Mm, good night. Good night.